Hey, I'm David Crowder, and I'm uh, going to tell you the story behind the song for uh, After All, Parenthetical Holy, because we like parentheticals. Um, actually, this song is interesting. I'm a more inspiration, inspirationally driven songwriter. In other words, I, I, I can't sit down and just write. So, you know, I'm going to schedule on 10 on Wednesdays, and we'll write for an hour and a half. It just doesn't work that way for me. So I, I have to wait for this little moment of inspiration to sort of float my way, and then, then the song comes. And this song totally different experience than I typically have. It was a co-write with a couple of uh, guys in the band, Mike D, bass player, Mark Waldrop, our, one of our guitar players, and Matt Marr, who is not in the Crowder band, but it, it, in our hearts he is. He's just a lovely man, and, and so he had been in Waco for a little while. And so the song was, between the four of us, uh, we, we sort of came in bits and pieces. So that, that initial ins inspiring moment was actually came to me later, and it was, it, it was Felt, feels kind of recent. We were up in Vancouver um, doing this passion event, and um, we, it was amazing. We were in this arena downtown. It's like this famous hockey arena, you know, Canadians and all. They get into that thing, and um, uh, the, the, we had the still packed with people. And, and the morning of, Louis Giglio, who's a good friend, is speaking that that evening. Um, it was uh, he he gets a little bug that he wants to go in a seaplane, and he wants to take us up in a seaplane. And I'd never been in a seaplane. He'd never been in a seaplane. Um, and, and in fact, everybody with us had never been in a seaplane. And so we all pile on this little deal. Right before we're getting in, Louis says, uh, oh, I'm going back on a vow I made to myself. Like what? He goes, never get in a single engine prop plane. And it's too late. We've tickets are paid for and we're all getting in this little prop plane, seaplane. Sea and this deal is exactly, exactly like you think it is. You, you start off, it feels like you're in a boat. You're like in a, it feels like I'm in a boat, and then the boat takes off into the air, and you're like, I'm not in a boat. I'm in a plane uh, over the water, and we're going to come back and try to do that uh, in reverse next time. That's going to be exciting. And as we're taking off, it's just beautiful. Across the sound, you see these uh, huge mountain tops, the snow-capped things poking up out of the sky, and then, and then uh, uh, we, we, we're going to loop back around the city, look down at the arena that we're going to be at later. Um, that evening and, and all of us are just the whole time just trying to document this thing this experience on our phone So we're all just on, on our little iPhones Thank you Apple and we're sitting there and, and taking pictures taking video video on each other taking the pictures and So we do the circle around the city absolutely gorgeous and we start heading towards these mountains and, uh, and I'm like oh my goodness we're going that those are high and far off we, we wind up there in about two minutes it felt like and as we're going through the little mountain tops. I look and it dawns on me. All of us are still. We all just have our faces buried in in the iPhone, and we're looking at this little picture of this grand thing that's right out the window in front, like you know, wingtip almost touching the thing. And this song just like came flooding, in, and and it, and it was just the beauty. And so I put the phone down and just looked, and was my word. It seems like culture and the way we live and the way way we operate in life it, it tends to it tends to narrow our our ability to see the grandness and the transcendence of God and this song is really that it's it's there there are these moments where you get this glimpse of, of how the distance between us and him and and uh, and yet he's 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 chosen to span that distance and engage us relationally and this song is just trying to respond and let the heart go to him in a way that, that recognizes the vastness and the transcendence that he has, uh, has, has sort of set aside to come and be among us. And, and so that's, that's the song, uh, after all, parenthetical, holy.